On this week's edition of Wildcat Weekly, the Special Olympic soccer team, and a change in the football conference. All this and more coming up next. Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of Wildcat Weekly. I'm your host, Chloe O'Keefe. November is the month where we spread awareness about Native American heritage. Tara has the details. Native American Heritage Month is a commemoration of the diverse cultures, languages, and heritage of Native Americans. It's also a way to learn and understand why it's celebrated and how they were able to shape the nation's history. Uh, Native American tribes around the country generally do not celebrate Thanksgiving. Instead, uh, they might celebrate their culture on that day or they might have the National Day of Mourning instead because they see this moment as a moment that um, their culture began being eradicated, that the first Thanksgiving with the pilgrims was actually not as egalitarian or equal as we might like to imagine, but instead uh, was a moment of, of sadness for many Native Americans. Neuqua Valley also recognizes the importance of this month, since Native Americans had a significant impact in shaping the history and development of this community. All of District 204 exists on what was once the land of the Potawatomi, so that includes Neuqua Valley. Neuqua Valley's name comes from um, a significant leader within the Potawatomi tribe, so that's Neuqua Valley comes from that tribe specifically and so one it's important and this is why sometimes we do land acknowledgements because we want to say like before this land was established as Indian Prairie um, as Illinois but it's really an opportunity to honor like where we get our name and to understand um, the history is more than what is traditionally told. And for Wildcat Weekly I'm Tara Unsal. Special Olympics has been working hard this past soccer season and are preparing as they head to state tomorrow. Grace has the details. The athletes and coaches have created great bonds over this past season, leading them to success as they have qualified for state. While we work really hard in practice, we try to make sure to have a lot of fun. The coaches are super fun, but we try to like keep each other accountable to work hard during practices so that can transfer into games. For the soccer season, it's unified, which means that the peers are playing with the athletes, so I take on more of a role of a player. So everybody's super supportive. We try to encourage each other and make sure that everybody's working their hardest. For state tomorrow, we've been practicing game-like scenarios, so our goalies have been in goal, and we've been practicing shooting and passing with each other, mostly in scrimmages. We're super excited for state tomorrow. Um, we have a really good team coming into this year. I'm really confident in everybody's abilities. Everybody's been really focused at practice and I think we'll all do really good so I'm super excited. The love for the game and the supportive nature of the team is a big contributor to their successes. Yeah I'm excited for state. I mean I'm just I'm excited to like like work as a team and just play how I usually play soccer and just have fun and score goals. Training has been great. We are very supportive. We like to play as a, one big team and we never let up like each other down. Like I said, uh, we just have fun, we work hard and I think we have a good environment. We train as one team and we play as one team. Good luck at the big game. And for Wildcat Weekly, I'm Grace Amandel. Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Drew Aurelio, and welcome back to Nequa Replay. The boys and girls cross country teams competed in their sectional meets last weekend. Addie Gusky on the girls' side will be advancing to state this weekend. The boys finished fourth in their meet and will move on to state in Detweiler tomorrow. Good luck to both teams. Hockey has a game against DuPage on Sunday at 310 at Willowbrook Ice Arena and an away game against Wheaton West at Center Ice at 830. Last Friday, the football team pillaged and plundered their way to a 31-17 victory against the Palatine Pirates in the playoffs, buying two touchdowns each from Ryan Moeller and Silvano Spadafora. Tomorrow they will face off against the number one ranked Loyola Academy Ramblers in Wilmette. The football team is gearing up for a big change next season. Luke has the story. With current football season coming to a close, the athletic department and team are looking at changes for next year's season. Uh, we set up a merger with the Southwest Suburban Conference uh, just to create a football schedule. So as a conference as a whole, there's really no changes. It's just creating a, a schedule uh, that's 
more advantageous for us as a school. The conference will be broken up into three divisions of five teams. The blue division, the red division, and the green division. With more teams added to the conference, there are many added benefits. So now again, we won't have to, we won't have to go out and look for schedules, um, look for opponents. So that's really been the biggest advantage for us. As final details about the conference mergers are still developing, the athletic department is optimistic about the future that it brings for the football team. And for Nico Replay, I'm Luke Townsend. What's up, Wildcats? I'm Ms. Gerald, and here's what's happening at Nequa between today and next Thursday, November 9th. The South Asian Student Association is holding their Fall Festival of Lights tonight from 5 to 9 p.m. Check it out in the main campus comments. Youth in Government is hosting their first pre-ledge of the year tonight at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. Wishing them all the best as they start their legislative season. Tomorrow, November 4th, the Interact Club is making blankets for kids in need. Join them in the C hallway. Everyone is welcome to help out. Good luck to the Special Olympics Unified Soccer Team heading to state tomorrow in Schaumburg. And that's what's up, Wildcats. Have a great day. As the weather's getting colder, staying healthy is a top priority for students here at Niqua. Arda has the details. There are many different health problems that come up as the weather is changing, such as influenza, sinus problems, and the common cold. As students are very busy with schoolwork, they often forget to take care of symptoms quickly. We do come down with symptoms covering cold and coughs and sneezes, using tissues, using good hand washing technique. Remember back, uh, sing the happy birthday song when you wash your hands. Um, drinking a lot of extra fluids and um, when necessary taking over-the-counter cough and cold medicine to help with symptoms. You're usually thinking of your physical health but your mental health is just as important. Best thing I'd recommend is we have a bunch of great resources here at school um, primarily in our class houses. We have awesome school counselors, awesome social workers, um, awesome school psychologists all here to help um, and serve our students. I'd say if you, if you are struggling or if you know someone who is struggling, reach out to your class house staff. In terms of balancing your schedule, it's important to find time to do something that you enjoy. Give yourself that kind of mental break from your classwork. Give yourself that mental break from um, kind of different work-related activities, whether that would be reading a book, doing something fun, watching a, a TV show or simply hanging out with friends and family. Finding that kind of small bit of time, whether during the day or on the weekend, to kind of do something fun is key. Take care of yourselves and stay healthy, Wildcats. For Wildcat Weekly, I'm Arda Achman. Thanks for watching this week's edition of Wildcat Weekly. Have a great weekend, Wildcats.